So part of what made the FCC's 2017 repeal of net neutrality so nefarious was that Ajit Pai tried to preempt states from passing their own net neutrality laws in the event they didn't like his federal repeal of net neutrality. But as you all know, fast forward to 2019, a court mostly upheld that repeal of net neutrality, although they did say that states are allowed to pass their own net neutrality laws. So now you have a number of states along the West Coast. You have Washington State, Oregon, California, of other states, I believe uh, Montana and Vermont even, they have net neutrality while some states don't. So for the most part, Ajit Pai got what he wanted. He won, right? He should be happy that he's not impeached because he pushed through a repeal of net neutrality in spite of a massive fraudulent campaign that flooded the FCC's comment system with fake comments. Like, he should be happy right now that he has a job, but nonetheless, he's not happy, and he's literally been complaining about the fact that some states have net neutrality. And the argument he's using to say why this is bad is absolutely hilariously ironic. So as the Daily Dot's Andrew Wyrick reports, Federal Communications Commission Chairman Ajit Pai is defending the agency's repeal of net neutrality rules and has spent recent days arguing against states passing their own open internet laws in a series of interviews. Earlier this month, the United States Court of Appeals District of Columbia Circuit released a highly anticipated decision that mostly upheld the FCC's repeal of net neutrality, but also opened the door for states to enact their own laws in the absence of one at the federal level. That opening has been called a huge opportunity by net neutrality advocates, with one law in particular, California's gold standard legislation possibly becoming a blueprint for states who want to pass their own in the future. The California law goes farther in enforcing net neutrality standards than the rules repealed by the FCC, Pi this week tried to push back against the idea, saying a number of state-level internet laws would create market uncertainty, according to CNET. When you're talking about the choice for a venture capitalist or an entrepreneur to set up shop in the United States where they have to get permission from the federal government or from the state of California, San Francisco, or some other jurisdiction, or whether they should set up shop in country B where there's uniform, well-established set of regulations that are consistent, I worry that the proposition value for country B will become stronger over time, Pai said, according to the news outlet. Here's the bottom line. That's your fault, Ajit Pai. The reason why there's inconsistency across states is because of what you did. You repealed net neutrality. Unilaterally, you decided to do this. So when you passed that preemption provision with your net neutrality repeal, you should have known that this was a possibility, right? I mean, if I were him, I'd be happy that my repeal was upheld by a court. But the fact that he's going out of his way to complain is ridiculous. And if you listen to any of his interviews, it's even more infuriating because he's saying, look, I was proven right. There were all of these alarmists that were saying that, you know, the Internet as we know it would be gone, that freedom on the Internet would go away. But now you can see people on Twitter. They're still expressing their opinions. I mean, this is so incredibly disingenuous. Not only does that disregard the throttling that has taken place, firefighters in California is one example, but he's not mentioning that this was literally just upheld in the court of law, right? So this is such a disingenuous bad faith actor and it's so frustrating that he got what he wanted. But you know, the good news is that now since California is going further than the FCC and you know, a domino effect could be in play where other states could replicate that same law, well, he could lose even worse because he was he was too greedy. He was he wanted to do what the ISPs wanted so badly that now there's a nationwide movement, not just for laws as solid, as broad and robust as California, but more and more people are aware of the utility in fighting for public municipal broadband. So he catalyzed a nationwide movement for better Internet in this country. But I mean... This is what happens when you just, you don't keep corrupt, elitist people who are in power in check. He should have been impeached. He should not be in that position of power. And I really hope that if we get a Democratic administration, they look into him. They investigate him. Because this is completely unacceptable, right? The fact that he repealed net neutrality amid an entire scandal in and of itself is an issue. But the fact that he's going out of his way to complain when he just won... I mean, it shows how insufferable this individual is.